Hello everybody, uh, how's it going? This is Xarian Arts with another uh, drawing video, more of a speed paint that I'm gonna commentate over. So, <sighs> this painting is supposed to be of like a fighter costume that I kind of wanted to just make, you know, for the fun of it. There's a no other reason really behind it. It's just a, kind of like a fan-made thing, I suppose. My inspiration came from, you know, like fighting games such as Dead or Alive or Tekken. You know, I've been watching a lot of those on YouTube. You know, because I want to get back into that. used to be really, really heavily into fighting games when I was like a teenager and... You know, every now and then I'll play some Killer Instinct on the emulator, like a U64 emulator. So I hear that, uh, and I actually already pre-purchased a while back, like a month ago, Dead or Alive 5 should be coming to Steam pretty soon, and I am a PC gamer, so that is going to be exciting. Um, I actually just recently signed up for a partnership on YouTube, but, um, I don't think it's safe to go too much into that, so that's all I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. But I am pretty stoked. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work out. Um, just gotta keep positive, I suppose. But you know, I'm, I'm honestly just really looking forward to it. So, many things to come, hopefully. I am in the process of working on like a giant, giant scroll for myself. More like uh, fan art. Just mostly for me. It's probably won't get uploaded, I'm not really sure. So, so um... I've been getting asked, not by specific YouTube users, but just by friends who I show my artwork to. And the question is, is like, why do I only draw this one woman as of late? And the reason is because, well, obviously, I love drawing her, but I am a huge, huge fan of whatever she does. But uh, that can all be found out by going to their Facebook. Um, she used to cosplay a lot. I don't know if she still keeps up with that. But, um, a lot of my previous work, like, you know, some of the Asian models that I've drawn before, have come from, you know, cosplaying. So, uh, others, just because they're like, I don't know, bikini models, I suppose. But, I, don't know, I haven't really drawn those lately, so kind of uh, lost interest in that specific marketing, I guess, or market. So maybe you're wondering, what tools do I use to draw? Well, I don't draw traditionally anymore, if you're wondering about that, just in case. Um, I stopped drawing traditionally in around like 2008 or 2009, somewhere around there. And, you know, it's, uh, it's been, digital age has been good to me at least. I love I love working in Photoshop. It's, I don't know how else to put it. It's, just, it's awesome compared to tr traditional. It's, it's not because of uh, aids or helping or using tools to get something faster. It's just everything you need to do is on the screen and everything else that you want, want to add to the experience can be put on the screen such as music or video or whatever you know. So, um, you might recognize some of these videos from, uh, previous tutorials that I did. And, uh, uh, 
The hairbrush that I did at the beginning can be found in another, another video that I made. It's like called Painting Hair in Livestream. And that one would actually have the link to uh, the brush for the hair, which can be found on DeviantArt through the, the link is actually in the description of the video though. So you can go check that out if you want to maybe use it for hair or I don't know, maybe you're struggling with that. So maybe, um, maybe that'll help you, but I've, I've also noticed something too is that I never record uh, my sketches when it comes to like speed paints or tutorials really. I mean I have this one crosshair sketching video up, but usually I don't record my sketches because I kind of feel like there's like some kind of pressure there that I have to be better than I am or something. I don't know exactly where it comes from, but I guess it's like a fear. Probably an unnecessary fear. <laughs> But um, yeah, I like to sketch in private all on my lonesome, so. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty much all I had to talk about. Um, I guess I will commentate what I'm doing here. Well, actually, this was in another tutorial as well. Uh, called sock textures. You can also find that on my channel. This just took forever to do, even though it looks really fast. But that brush really saved a lot of time, though. Like from what I could have done if I didn't know any better. You know, I was like some some super noob at Photoshop or something can't imagine what it would have been like to paint every single one of those holes. So I actually did um, another alternate version of this painting where like I changed the color of the the clothes to white. And I actually like that one better. I kind of wish that um, that was my main painting, I suppose, instead of just being an edit. Uh, but the pink does add some more feminine feel to it. Oh yeah, by the way, that technique that I use uh, to get like all the sparkly look on the uh, gold parts of the fabric all I did pretty much was just uh, make a dissolve layer and brighten up the the color of the gold and yeah that's pretty much it so this part was time consuming I had realized that I got in the shape of the hand wrong, so there you see me fixing it. In reality, that took about like 15, 20 minutes. And I know that I got rid of the uh, whole high heel thing for the feet. Uh, I just kind of wasn't feeling it by the time uh, it, the, you know, when the painting was near finished. It's just like, you know, this isn't going to work out. It's not very fighter-esque. So I just wanted some flat shoes type of thing. like You know, kind of like Kasumi has from Dead or Alive. So this painting is pretty much finished, except for like some small details. Go back and forth. Maybe tune up the hair a bit. I really do like drawing hair 
by the way, but it's just like time consuming and I usually save it for the last part. But in this painting, obviously, I didn't. And it's not like it ruins my pattern or anything or rhythm when it comes to painting. It's just, it's probably the most time consuming part that you will spend on a person if you're like into drawing portraits. The thing I like to capture the most in hair is like the, the little strands of hair that kind of stand out and that catch light. <coughs> that catch light, sorry for that. I was originally going to put some bows in that. Well, obviously the video ended and I wasn't expecting it to. So, um, Thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, share, and like. and. You can always check out my DeviantArt. Uh, also, follow me on my live stream at Picarto.tv. And uh, thanks again for watching. Peace.